What's up guys Ovidov here. In this video we're going to be talking about two new applications on scroll testnet. The first one is Zeta Finance. It's a DeFi application. And the second one is uh, Pheasant or Pheasant. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. A network. It's actually a bridge. As usual all links are in description but follow them at your own risk. And we're going to start with Zeta. Here, first of all, we need to connect the wallet and set the correct network, scroll alphanet. Then we need to get some testnet ZDA tokens. For that, we need to retweet something. I haven't done anything uh, myself, so we'll see how it works. We need to retweet. I also saw on Discord that there is a faucet channel and people are posting, I don't know if that's mandatory or not, but people are posting uh, the URLs to their retweet. So I'm gonna do that as well. Let's see how it goes, faucet. And while we wait, we can add a contract address we can add the token into the MetaMask. Assets. I got all sorts of tokens here. I think this one is from Aave. We got token. All right. It seems to me like this stuff is manual. So we need to wait while somebody physically sends us uh, some ZDA tokens, but we don't have to wait. Actually, we can go and do some swaps and pools. Is that a finance on sports token lists? You can add your own custom lists. Okay. So as you can see, currently there is only a handful of tokens, but for testing purposes, we don't really care. We can just swap some amount back and forth and provide liquidity. It's worth mentioning that obviously they do have Discord, they do have Twitter, and all, they also run Zilli campaign. And one of the quests uh, for Zilli campaign is actually uh, doing a swap and providing the screenshots from that. That's the Zilli. And as you can see, all we need to do is just uh, do a swap and then submit the snapshot of the transaction. And once we swap, we can actually go to pool liquidity. The transaction was super fast. Uh, so, so I'm just going to pull a little bit here. I don't really care if that's like ZDA or not ZDA. You can actually wait and do it with the ZDA. Once the token arrives, I will do some transactions with, with it too. But yeah, once again, it seems like this is manual. So waiting required. Okay, we approved, right? Yes, we approved. Now we can supply, confirm. I mean, this is all pretty standard stuff. For now, obviously on testnet, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It doesn't have to support a gazillion of tokens, it just needs to work. Yeah, the history is here. If you click on your wallet, you can see the history here. So for this application for Zeta, be sure to follow them on Twitter, join the Discord, it's still pretty early. They only have like 15K um, people there. And also join Zilli campaign if you want. Maybe in the future, these experience will come in handy. I personally lately see a lot of evidence where there are like campaigns connected to Zilli. And then people who actually were early on these Zilli campaigns, they have such a big upper hand because they already completed the quests that are no longer there, like the old tweets, and they have more experience than you know other people. Obviously it's the case if it's not done in the form of sprint quests, but that's a whole different topic really. Let's move on to the second application now that's Pheasant Network. Here, after you go to the website, again, connect the wallet and make sure you're on the testnet. If it shows you mainnets, click on the button here. 
as you can see right away it wants to switch the network to the different one so what's good about this bridge first of all this project is like super early they got i think like 500 people on the discord or something like that and around the same on twitter and they also have zilly and they actually hinted here somewhere i believe yes um, they said we will be announcing the zilly quest rewards in the near future don't miss it earn the xp stay on top stay on top of the leaderboard so i suggest obviously joining zilly and doing the quests here too regarding the application itself as you can see the interface is a bit lagging because we tried to like switch it sometimes it just lags girly now i can't get it for girly to appear here that's okay well now we got it yeah so if it likes for you just refresh the page so as you can see there are tons of networks to send from and there are also a lot of destination networks as you can see all the hot uh, test nets that are currently building scroll well zk sync is on mainnet already base polygon zkvm and linea so you can bridge to all of these and i actually suggest when you're doing uh, transactions on linea for example on base use this bridge couple times at least to bridge some of the girly ETH there as well but right now we're gonna test it with the scroll and also one point to mention here both of these applications they have been listed on scroll ecosystem page and they've been mentioned by scroll themselves limited oh it's limited to 0.1 ETH that's weird but okay Yeah, it's really fast. It's actually like less than a minute. So definitely keep this application in mind when you're bridging stuff to scroll, again, to Linea, to base, to all of these networks, Polygon, ZK, EVM. I will be doing a video on, you know, testnet activities for the potential future airdrop on ZK, EVM as well. Relatively soon, I'll try to roll it out in the next maybe one to two weeks, hopefully. As for the previous activities on Scroll, obviously they still stay relevant. Uh, the initial video and the video about Ave are also going to be in description. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you found video helpful, please drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.